Hello everybody, in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can use Digistix inside a host like AUM. So here we are with uh, AUM, so the first thing I would like to do is to create uh, a audio channel, so we click on the plus sign, select audio, then we click again on the plus sign of the channel, we scroll down to reveal the search, box and we search for digistix here we go digistix this will load the uh, digi digistix um, <coughs> audio video unit <coughs> so if you click on it here we can see our digistix stick, um, instance yep fully operational Okay, let's close this. Let's create a MIDI channel. And for this, we use um, um, probably use um, StepBud. Probably one of my favorite um, um, MIDI <laughs> application. <clears throat> so, the first way to utilize Digistix in uh, a host like AUM is simply to connect it to a UV3 that sends MIDI signals like StepBud. So in this case, we click on the left hand side of Digistick and we select StepBud a UV3. So <clears throat> let's open up StepBud and let's click play. As you can see, is uh, sending C3 um, as notes is um, working on a rate of one eighth. We can decrease that to a fourth. Sounds better. <clears throat> what we can also do is if we change the note, we change the sample which is triggered in Digistick. Let's also, in order to trigger, to have the ability to trigger all the samples, let's change the scale from major to chromatic. As you can see, this is a simple way to trigger uh, the samples uh, in Digistix from StepBud. Um, of course, we can have multiple instances of StepBud. So if we go to the MIDI channel, MIDI 2, we scroll up, we click on the plus one sign, that reveals another channel, and we click on it, we again search for StepBud. <coughs> Here we go. And what we can do, we can also link um, Digistix to the second instance of StepBud. <coughs> In this case, um, let's scroll to the left, let's go to the very right, and let's enable the sequencer in StepBud. Let's change the note. Let's change the velocity. Okay, this is a simple example how you can trigger Digistics using um, something like um, StepBud um, a UV3. Of course, another way to do that would be simply to um, use the patterns inside Digistics. 
In order to do that, we disconnect um, the two uh, step bud um, AUV freeze. <clears throat> then what do we do? We go inside Digistix. <clears throat> we create a pattern as a simple example. Let's click play to listen to it. Okay, now if you click play inside a UV free, the pattern will not play because the sync is uh, of Digistix is not connected to the uh, to a AUM. So let's stop that and click in the host sync button uh, inside Digistix. And now let's click play inside AUM. <coughs> In this way, you have uh, a synchronization, or better, the uh, timings are driven by AUM. And, and then you can continue like this. So let's um, create an audio, another audio channel. <coughs> let's connect it to one of the StepBud instances. Um, let's change the minimum octave to one so it will lower the pitch. Let's change the rate. change the scale to, for example, minor scale. Hopefully, it was easy to follow. As you can see, I had a note uh, stuck in the Phosphor 2, so I just changed the preset so that uh, stopped the notes being stuck. <coughs> of course, if um, you prefer to have a song as we uh, but probably you are probably seeing in the other tutorial that I have done you can actually then prepare a song and then you can select uh, different patterns and then you can create you can chain your patterns and then when you play the gistics will follow that um, chain of patterns in, in that you saved as a song so hopefully you enjoyed um, and find useful this tutorial thank you very much see you next time bye